What's good, Beast Hounds? It's your boy, Kick and Raid. It's gifting season again. Maybe you don't know what to get for that special Beast Hound in your life. Maybe you're trying to subtly hint to your Uncle Neville that there are exactly zero ways that you can improve your life with a WH Smith gift card. And while you were very grateful last year, they've unfortunately stopped selling yo-yos and the Beano album has been lackluster and derivative for several years now. Well, dude, I got you. Here are some budget-friendly gift ideas for them, for you, for everyone. I made this exact same video last year, so I highly recommend that you check that out. I don't want to go over the same stuff again, but I still think that tier one gift ideas are rings, weighted vests, resistance bands. I go over why in that video. There's a few more ideas and links to grab them in the description of that video. Kit, make sure that you update them. But here are my next tier picks for this year. A pull-up bar. You can build a great physique with just pull-ups, push-ups, v-sits, and squats. But without pull-ups, you got nothing. Nada. So, some way of pulling up is absolutely the first investment any kind of fitness fella should make. Now, I always recommend rings, but if you've got nowhere indoor to hang them, you're going to need a pull-up bar. Pulls are going to give you a thick, wide back and big biceps. Tell me that's not what you want for Christmas. Now you can get this kind that drills into the door for £23. Don't go for the screwy ones that don't drill in, they'll kill you. Uh, and this kind that rests around the door also for £23. That's what I started with. It did leave some minor damage, like I had to repaint the door frame when I left that house. But 20 minutes of work, one time, was more than worth the gains it gave me. I'll put links for everything I mentioned down below. If it's an Amazon link, I may make a commission on that. It won't affect the price you pay, and I would be very grateful. If it's an eBay link, it does nothing for me. It's just the cheapest I could find that product. Onwards. Parallettes. These are on the top end of a budget gift, I'd say. They are a little pricey, starting new at about £40, but I've been able to find new ones on Facebook Marketplace for a tenner. So have a look around if you don't mind slightly soiled parallettes. Uh, reduce, reuse, recycle. They are ridiculously useful. What I was just saying about pull-ups, that, but no worries about damaging your door frame, or if you're in a new build, your entire cream cheese and crackers house collapsing. You can pull your entire body weight in a row, that's your thick back, that's your thick biceps. You can also dip, push, pike, train levers, train handstands, leg raises, L-sits, combos, the list goes on. They are versatile, effective, and if you have nowhere else to pull up, they are essential. A pulley. Over the last year, the DIY pulley market has exploded, and now you can get a really decent quality pulley for 15 quids upwards. All you need is something that supports weight, so wherever you're hanging your rings is perfect, and some weights. Skaboosh, now you have a cable stack, and that makes a lot of things possible. Not just the obvious tricep pushdowns and lap pulldowns, but hanging it from wherever you pull up allows you to measure how far you are from a one-armed pull-up, and then incrementally progress your way there. I have a cable stack built into my rack. Ooh. <laughs> I have a cable stack built into my rack, and I still have one of these because I can use it to adjust the angle of attack. I have a high pulley and a low pulley, but with this, now I have an adjustable pulley. If I had somewhere to hang it from the opposite side of my rack, I could do cable flies, and that is the most Hulk mode exercise there is. What a gift! A landmine. Again, this is a great piece of versatile kit that because you can bodge one up with a towel and a corner, you might not want to buy yourself. But if you've ever taken a barbell to the barbell, I can tell you that this is a valuable tool. <laughs> this one fits both standard and Olympic bars, so you don't have to worry about what specific type of barbell your gifty has, just that they have one. It'll screw into a wall, into the floor, or just clamp onto any piece of equipment they have. So if your gifty has a bench, which they probably do if they have a bar, you can't go wrong. If you happen to know that your gifty has an Olympic barbell and a surplus of plates, you can get this cheaper one that slots into a stack of plates. You just need to know that they have enough plates to secure the bar on one end and weight it on the other. Ancillary gifts include this doohickey for attaching attachments to the bar, and a tricep rope is pretty much perfect for any kind of rowing that you want to do. And then they can look into some sort of Viking press attachment. And I think that a gift that leads other places is a good gift. Last year we talked about the Gym Boss Interval Timer, which I use daily, I love. This year they released the Gym Boss Charge, which is basically the original Gym Boss with a built-in rechargeable battery. Finally, a backlight, oh, and weatherproofing. Oh. 
It doesn't do the weirder things that the Mini Max does, but honestly, 95% of the time, one or two intervals at a stopwatch and a backlight is all you really need. I think this is a great product and I want one. If you already have a Gym Boss, maybe you train outside. Maybe you're an idiot and you put it down even though it gets real dark real early nowadays. Maybe the last five minutes of every workout is you looking for your timer. Gym Boss now make a watch strap which is compatible with any of their timers. It is a big improvement over the elasticated strap that comes in their frankly useless accessory kit. It's 10 quid. I think that's a lot of money for a rubber watch strap. <clears throat> but that's what makes it a great gift. It's something that a user would want but probably wouldn't want to pay for. In the same vein, and you're gonna have to be real careful about gifting this one, some decent Bluetooth scales with an app. These ones from HealthKeep are currently on sale for £22. They are fast, they are consistent, and they have an app which tracks your weight for you, as well as body fat and a bunch of other metrics that you will not ever care about. I'm so hydrated. Bluetooth scales are an absolute game changer. Even someone who doesn't care about getting lean needs to know how their weight fluctuates and how their body fat fluctuates so that they can adjust their nutrition to suit their goals. Not having to write down whatever the scale says and then having to keep that book around, getting graphs automatically produced for you, it's actually a joy. It's lame and it's not something that a person probably wants to invest in, but the quality of life improvements are big and that's what makes it a great gift. Just be careful that you're giving it to someone who's not gonna think, oh, a scale, so you think I'm a fatty. A bike rack, not for storing bikes, bikes live outside for organizing plates. This five bike rack on Amazon is 17 pounds and is absolutely perfect for keeping your plate collection tidy. Plates stacked everywhere is one of my least favorite things and this is a much more economic solution than a purpose-built toaster rack and it does exactly the same job, meaning you have more Christmas budget to spend on Liebkuchen. I know, I bought enough Liebkuchen, leave me alone. Lastly, a couple of stocking stuffers, barbell clips. If you know what type of barbell your gifty has, I don't think anyone can ever have enough and if they're using spin lock or spring collars, a nice set of these is gonna change their world. These little magnets, if you glue them to those barbell collars you just bought, they can stick to your rack or bench or whatever you want and you can stop looking for them. A block of chalk, whether you're deadlifting or dead hanging, chalk is gonna help your hands not become bloody tattered meat mittens. That is a good gift. <laughs> And if you didn't like the magnet idea, you can also get one of these magnetic cup holders to attach to a rack, and then you just store your cars in there. Come on! If you don't know what you want now, or what to get that special strong person of whatever gender, then I think you either don't really like them or actually don't want anything. In which case, maybe you should just donate to Team C's or something. Whatever it is that you choose to do, whatever you choose to buy, I hope you have a terrific day, and I'll see you on the flippity-flop. Get them gains! Be well.